Hi guys, so this is my LA vlog, but we didn't get a lot of a chance to talk to her on the camera during the vlog as much as uh, we should, we want. So I'm here voiceovering and explain to you guys what's going on here. Okay, so we went to LA last 4th of July weekend and we had so much good food. The first stop is Mapu Galmegi. AKA Makal. I met Kevin, the food Instagrammer at KK New York, and he is local here and he's nice enough to volunteer to show us around the LA where to eat. Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm on Instagram uh, at Guru Kevin and I love to eat. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys um, some really good, delicious restaurants around LA. Makal serves lots of side dishes for a Korean barbecue restaurant. They have kimchi, pickled cabbage and jalapeno, macaroni salad, Korean pickled radish, muche, Korean potato salad, cilantro salad, lots of salad because Korean barbecue is amazing with different types of fresh veggies. Cucumber kimchi, romaine lettuce salad with house-made black sesame dressing, green onion salad with kolpache, and finally star-fried fish cake. Of course, go to have some soju when you're eating Korean barbecue. It's a must. Always ask ice cold soju. Colder is better. In Korea, we never pour shots for ourselves. We have to pour for someone else and they have to pour for you. Using two hands to pour and receive the shots to be polite. When you become good friends like Jacob and I, <laughs> or you guys agree to using only one hand to be casual, then you can go ahead and have fun. Usually, the waiters and the servers will come to your table and help you cook your meat on the table. But if you like to do it by yourself, then go ahead and tell your server. It's not rude or anything, it's just your preference. I love the server doing it for me because I don't have to do all that work because I cook enough at my house. You know my favorite part is this thing. So you don't want to overcook the meat or don't want to burn, you just put it on here. Every Korean barbecue restaurant has different style dipping sauces. In Magao, they have salt and sesame oil dipping sauce, which is Jacob's favorite, and sweet and sour soy dipping sauce with onion and chili, and this is my favorite. Around the grill, there is steamed eggs and corn cheese. They cook by the heat from the grill, and when they look like it's ready, then you can just start digging. This is definitely new style of Korean barbecue and old-fashioned way. The steamed egg got to be served separately. I like both in a different ways. When you're done with the meat, Magal has something special menu for you to finish the meal heavenly, totally heavenly. So make sure you still have some room in your tummy for this menu. It's volcano fried rice. It's minimum two order per table. First, your server will bring a wok lookalike pan with spicy pork looking sauce with lots of onions. When it starts simmering, then the server will add some rice and start the performance, the art of the volcano fried rice. Flatten the rice like this on the pan will create delicious crispy bites. Mm, so good! After a few minutes, they will add some kim, Korean seasoned and roasted seaweed and gather all the rice together like a mountain. Then there 
is the magma of the volcano. <laughs> Wait, it's lava since it's outside already. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. They scramble the eggs so it will evenly cook. This dish is definitely Instagram worthy, so don't forget to take some pictures, okay? When the eggs are settled, you can start to eat. Since it's a volcano fried rice, go to eat when it's piping hot. <laughs> it's really hot right now. Huh? It's like really hot right now. It was a volcano fried rice. <laughs> it's a volcano. <laughs> 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 Do you need kimchi? Well, spicy. Yeah. We also ordered the beef sushi. It's the same thing as regular sushi, but thinly sliced beef instead of fish. They bring it out to the table and torch in front of you and drizzle some sauce. And they said that we have to eat while it's hot. Hey, hey, what's up? performance was amazing but I won't order it again to be honest with you after having a food baby from Korean barbecue <laughs> we still needed some sweet bites so we went to grab some Korean shaped ice Bingsu. The place Kevin wanted to take us was already closed because it was late Sunday night. So we went to his second choice, Anko. We ordered black sesame bingsu and strawberry bingsu. We thought the bowl was part of ice because it is perfect round looking, but it's a bowl, so don't eat it, okay? <laughs> Black sesame bingsu has, of course, lots of grind black sesame seeds all around, sweet red bean paste on top, and some chapsal duck, which is a similar thing as mochi, and some pine nuts. The black sesame seeds will actually will get on your teeth while you're eating it, so don't order this if you are dating with someone. <laughs> Um, and instead just order the strawberry one the ice is a little bit pink color which is super cute and the fresh strawberry syrup is all over just dripping down and of course it has some fresh strawberry slices and served with condensed milk so pour condensed milk as much as you like and be quick about taking pictures because you don't want them to melt down too quick <laughs> What makes Korean shaved ice so special is the texture of the ice. It's like snow. I mean like literally snow. It's ridiculous. It feels like you're eating fresh snow from Alps. After the Korean barbecue and perfect dessert, Kevin took us to the public art Urban Light. It was so beautiful. We took so many pictures. I mean it's just gorgeous if you want to visit here as well and take beautiful pictures just google urban light in la and it will just pop up it was a beautiful first night of la special thanks to kevin 